So now it's time for application of the laws of logarithm. Let's look at how the examiners frame the questions and how smartly you should tackle them, especially using calculators. All right. If log 3 base 10 equals A and log 5 base 10 equals B, find in terms of A and B the value of log 75. So if examiner says if this equals that, this equals that, it means when you get this, replace with this one. That's what it means. When you get that log 5, replace with what? B. So what is he telling you? He's asking you to break this number down, this log number down. Because you can see base 10, base 10, base 10. The base are the same. So there's no issue with the basis. But break the 75 into only 5 and 3. Using multiplication or division. Yes. You break it down. So the strategy I will ask you to adopt is that divide by the biggest one or the bigger one among them. You divide by what? 5. So 75 divided by 5. Got so we are we are getting it gradual. So the first one is five. So seventy-five divided by five. It gives me fifteen. So the first one that I used to divide is first one. I've written it down. I got fifteen. The fifteen I can divide by the same five again. So because I divided by five again, I write the second five. So have a second five, which is what? This. You get it? Good. What will I get? 15 divided by 3. Divided by 3. Gives me 5. The 5 itself is part of them. So times another 5. You get it? Divided by, I divided by 3. Oh, okay, I divided by 5. So let me divide by 5 to generate it all. So 15. 15 divided by 5 gave me 3. So I divided by 5 and it gave me what? 3. So this is what? 3. Sorry for that. Alright. So now, what is my answer? When is multiplication, what do you do? You add them. So I get 5 twice of them. Right? Twice of what? 5 plus 3. Modification, you add it. You understand? Modification, you add it. Now, what is log 5? Log 5 means what? B. So, I get 2B. Log 3 is what? A. So, I get what? A. So, you rearrange and get A plus 2B. So, he expected to break this number into only this and that. Use multiplication or division. But log 10 base 10 is constant. You know it's 1. So in case you ha it happened after division, you get 10 somewhere. Put 1 there. Okay, good. So let's go to the next question. Question 2. Express log 3 plus 3 log 2 minus 3 log 4 as a single logarithm. And I've told you, whenever you read uh, uh, objectives, look at how, how the answers are presented, if you don't understand. As a single logarithm, so you are going to simplify the group into one by applying the laws. All right, so let's see the application of the laws over here. So this can be written as log three plus. You know, we said you can apply the laws when the bases are the same. This does not have three attached to it, so this must must move upwards. Do you remember? So it becomes what log. 2 power 3 minus this must also move to the top so giving you log 4 power 3 the negative is not coming along with it it's for this place all right now we can apply the log now that all the base are the same the base are the same the base are the same if the base is not written you and i know that it's base what 10 if the base is not written base 10 so it's automatic so let's go so we get log. You are writing as a single logarithm. First one is what? 3. When it's addition, what do you do to, to them? Multiply them. Good. 2 to the power 3 is what? 8. So simplify and put it there. When it's subtraction, what do you do to them? Divide. Right? 4 to the power 3 is what? 
64. Simple. Now, the final answer is log. Insert this in your calculator to generate the answer. Don't add the log. You can see that in the answers, he has not destroyed the log. The log is still there. So you look at the answer to tell whether he destroyed it or not. Very important. So, 3 times 8, all right, divided by 64. I got 0 0.375. But none of them is decimal. So what do I do? SD. And it gave me what? 3 over 8. Is it there? Option C is the correct answer. Simple. So if there's something behind any of them, move it up as power. After that, write the log single, put them in bracket and simplify it. Apply the log. Addition, multiply, divide, uh, subtraction. What do you do? Divide. This is similar to the first one that we did earlier, question one. If log 2 base 10 equals n, log 3 base n, uh, log 3 base 10 equals n, find the value of log 24. So we are going to break it down. So 24, remember the structure that I gave you, divide by the, first, the bigger one, right? Divided by 3. So the 3 that I've divided is first one. Take note. So I've gotten first one. 24 divided by 3. So just use your calculator and be free. 24 divided by 3 gives me 8. It gave me 8. I can divide again. But I know I cannot divide 8 by 3. So I use the other one. So I can divide by all 2. The 2 that I've used to divide is another one. I write it down. 8 divided by 2 gives me 4. So the answer is all 4. Right? Then I divide again. I cannot use 3, but all 2 is another one. I write it down. Equal to 2. The 2 that I've gotten is also another one. He's expecting to see only 2 and 3. Now, let's simplify it. The 2s are how many? They are 3. So you can say 2 power 3. I can write it that way. Acceptable. Mm -hmm. And multiplication. When is multiplication? What do you do? You add them. So this one is what? 3. There's only one 3. So we can say this one will come down and become what? 3. And log 2 means what? M. Log 2 means what? M. So we put M in place of it. Log 3 means what? N. So the answer is 3N plus N. Do you have it there? Perfect. Simple. Just break it down using the bigger one. Or you can use that with any of them. It is still working. Good. Here, like I told you, I advise you to do. Always after reading, check the way the answer is presented. It will tell whether he destroyed it or not. So you can see, he has destroyed it. So I put in my calculator. Show you the way I go. Log 729. Log 729. 7 to 9 divided by so it's fraction sorry i think i have to clear type my fraction key first right you get the same thing but i want to show the the difference so this fraction key then you type on top log 7 to 9 7 to 9 he opened the bracket so he closed the bracket very important forward arrow brings me down log 9 so log 9, log 9, I get 9 here, I close my bracket. The answer is 3. The answer is what? 3, which is A. Simple. Good. So 2 minus that, 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 as you can see there. We said you can apply the loss if and only if they have the same basis. So you can see this, this one has, it's not in log in the first place. So you convert it to what log. Now, what base I, I see using? He's using base 10. So the same base might be used for this. So we now we know the base. This uh, rare number written here is the answer. So we are looking for the log number. And do remember, the base, which is 10 in this case, raised to the power of the answer, which is 2, equal to the log number, which we don't know. What is it? 10 squared is what? 100. So it means it's log 100 base 10. Minus, I know that we are going to move the 3 upwards. Do you remember that? You move it upwards. So you can what? Log 